Yes, you lot, what you were saying. In today's video, we're going to be recreating this uni room using a 3D modeling program called Cinema 4D. So 3D modeling is something that I really want to develop my skills on this year. I've done a few projects in the past using Cinema 4D. However, it was literally just basic modeling. And uh, I just want to start pushing like my skills when it comes to different mediums as far as possible. And I've just moved into my new uni flat. So I thought, why not use this time to practice my skills in 3D modeling by creating a replica of this room using Cinema 4D. Mate, I'm excited, it's gonna be sick, let's go. All right, so the first part we're gonna be modeling in this project is my desk area. Now this includes my shelf above my desk, which has my paper tray, light, photographs, books, and stationery. We're literally only gonna be picking out like key components that convey the space as much as possible, just because if we was to model every object, then we would be here literally like all day. <laughs> Underneath my shelf is my desk, which will be modeling the map books, recording equipment, such as a microphone, some books, and my speaker. Also, please allow a toilet roll, it's my camera tripod, I'm a broke uni student, okay? Then we'll be adding essential features such as this mood light. These skateboards are going to be a mission and a half to do in Cinema 4D, right? So we're just going to be doing a mirror for this space. Then, finally, we have my big ass wardrobe and my big ass bed. And that is the room. So, uh, let's start modelling. So, my goal for this build was to create a cartoon simplified replica of this room. The reason why I wanted to go with a cartoon aesthetic opposed to something more realism is because if I was to recreate everything within my room in great detail then we'd obviously be here all day. Some objects I've decided to either simplify or make a little bit more interesting. For example when creating my Marley speaker instead of just going with the two sound woofers as in real life I added another two just to give the 3D medium a little bit more, a little bit more oomph you know, a little, a little bit more to look at. However, something more tricky to model such as my microphone, I simplified the shapes and just kept the key features to convey the object as much as possible. Honestly, like, ah oh, mate, like, I'm gassed with how this build has gone so far, I feel like the dimensions of this build in relation to real life are pretty corresponding and once I add like all the materials and colours and textures, this build should really come to life.
Right then, so it's time to create the materials. So what I mean by creating materials is within Cinema 4D, once you've actually finished your build, you can then add materials to your objects. Now what this means is to give it color or texture, or you can even implement a JPEG image onto the object. So when we create our poster or the family photo or the bed sheets behind me, we're gonna literally just add a image onto that object to give it its texture. So yeah, this is a process in Cinema 4D which just brings everything to life. Um, it will make it look so much better and I'm so excited. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump to it. When creating materials for this build, I wanted to keep the color palette of muted tones and soft textures. I achieve this by using mostly matte colors for objects such as the walls and making only the metal accents off a room reflective. By doing this, I could create a nice contrast between materials without the overall scene looking a bit too jarring. Once I added JPEG images to materials such as my bed covers, poster and family photo, I could really bridge the similarities of my room in real life to this 3D replica. And then finally, I achieved a not time aesthetic I was aiming for by creating a small area of light with low intensity while keeping the blue and pink mood lights the main focus of my room. And there we have it, the project is complete. Mate, this has taken literally like four days behind the scenes. However, I'm so happy with the final outcome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't already, then check out TGFX on my socials. And I'll see you guys in my next video. All right then, save you lot.